Hello and welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. And as the thumbnail says, Andre Onana is officially a Manchester United player. And also earlier, Bruno Fernandes is officially the new captain of Manchester United. And lastly, I'm also going to be talking about Rasmus Hoyland and we have some details on that. So let's get straight into everything. Andre Onana has joined United on a contract warning until June 2028 with the option of a further year, subject to international clearance, our new first choice goalkeeper. And in his official statement, Onana said to join Manchester United is an incredible honor and I have worked hard all my life to get to this moment, overcoming many obstacles along the way. Working out of Old Trafford to defend our goal and contribute to the team will be another amazing experience. This is the start of a new journey for me with new teammates and new ambitions. Manchester United has a long history of incredible goalkeepers and I will now give everything to create my own legacy in the coming years. I am excited by the opportunity to work again with Eric Den Haag and I can't wait to play my part in the success I know he's determined to deliver at this great football club. And yes, everyone here at Die Hard United, com this community wishes Onana the very best and we welcome him to the biggest club in the world and Onana will wear the number 24 jersey as the new Manchester United first choice goalkeeper. Before we talk about Bruno Fernandes, don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. And it was also official earlier today, Bruno Fernandes is the new captain of Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag took the captaincy of her Maguire this week and has now given it to Bruno Fernandes on a permanent basis. Bruno was the obvious choice definitely, having led United excellent throughout last season being the captain on the pitch while Harry Maguire was the club captain still coming in from the bench and taking the armband but now Bruno Fernandes is the main captain and of Manchester United and Harry Maguire is no longer the captain as reported earlier. Sources say Bruno has inspirational qualities on the pitch and in the dressing room and Ten Hag values Bruno's in-game intelligence and communication skills. United's communication department elected Bruno Fernandes to speak to Ten Hag ahead of the Manchester derby back in January. Bruno is a demanding teammate, a mentality Ten Hag loves as he continues to cultivate a culture of high standard at United. Although Fernandes is now officially recognized as United's captain, figures at the club have stressed a group of leaders remain in the squad. Rafael Varane, Casemiro, Luke Shaw, Michael Trashford and Tom Heaton all served in the leadership group Ten Hag often consulted last season. United expect them to continue to support Bruno Fernandes now his appointment has become official. We wish Bruno all the best as he takes on this new role, one of the greatest in club football as the captain of one of the biggest clubs in the world. A job Harry Maguire could not do well at all. Hopefully Bruno does way way better. Of course, I've seen him do, done better and he will do better than Harry Maguire and restore that captaincy to his highest glory. Winning titles and winning cups with that badge. Manchester United are said to be close to standing our first official bid for Atlanta striker Rasmus Holland. This is according to Fabrizio Romano. And United are keen to get a deal done quickly to avoid losing out on the 20 old to another club. It has been revealed PSG have also been in discussions with its representatives and could attempt to hijack United's plan to bring the young Danish striker to Old Trafford this summer. And as reported severally by Fabrizio Romano, Holland has already agreed personal terms with United and Atalanta directors are aware of their agreement. However, negotiations will not be straightforward as Atalanta wants around 50, 65 to 70 million euros and will not consider any sort of player plus cash deal. So now we wait for John Mota and his negotiation team to do their job on this one. It is crucial that they get his new striker on tour, but that reality seems unachievable for now considering how slow United have been at agreeing and concluding transfer deals. So I don't think Rasmus Hoyland will be part of the preseason tour. He'll probably have to come after the preseason tour, which will be like one or one and a half week before the start of the Premier League season. So we're going to sign a new striker and he will have no time to deal with the squad before the start of the Premier League season. That's how United um, do their business. It's always slow and very confused. Hopefully we'll get some news on outgoings Fred and um, Dean Henderson Many players will be leaving the club soon and let's see what happens with all the outgoings that we were expecting to happen in this summer transfer window. That is all for now. Don't forget this is Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. My name is Jude. Click on that like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe to this channel because it's where I give you all the news you need concerning Manchester United. See you all on the next one.